We got our own video intro this time. <laughs> Isn't it though? But you know, those things take longer than, than you'd think. So, did you like it? Yeah? <laughs> it's not terrible. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, but let's get started with the story. Yeah? Absolutely. No, you're up first, Tony. All right, here we go. Hey, check this out. Uh, an article in the Steamboat Pilot that caught my attention with this headline. <laughs> now, <laughs> Todd wouldn't touch this one for obvious reasons. <laughs> But I was like, what the hell, sister? LSD? That's some messed up shit. Right? right there. In her defense, she did turn herself in the next morning after sobering up and realizing that was a very, very bad idea. And I don't know this for sure, but because the victim was never identified, but I heavily bet it was a white dude. <laughs> There's no way she'd do this to a brother. Now, how do you know this? How do I know this? You're asking, right? Um, one, I know it wasn't me or Will. So, there aren't many options left in this game. I'm going to play those percentages every time. Every time. Two, I think she'd just tell us. And we would have a hell of a good time. I mean, we gotta look out for each other around here, you know what I mean, right? There's no self-roofing allowed. Or maybe that's just me. Scott, what do you got? All right, Tony, so my top story this summer has been the bears. You know, it's like they got pissed that the moose were getting all the headlines, so they came out with horses. I mean, they're everywhere, and some of them really big, right? And they've been spotted all over in neighborhoods, cars, and trash cans. And one was tragically put down for human safety reasons. Yeah, that, that was sad. Right, so, so I thought I'd give a couple of them a chance to provide their take before they enjoy another winter in sweet, blissful hibernation. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome these brave bears. Alright, welcome to the show, bears. Thank you for having us. <laughs> okay, um, so, so, uh, Bears, what, what's with all the secrecy? Bears have been heavily targeted and scapegoated in Steamboat this year, and we don't want our true identities known. That's right. We're both peaceful bears that live in the woods. And we don't want to be labeled trash raining terrorists with a death wish. But we thought the people of Steamboat needed to hear our message directly from the bear community. Okay, that's fair. So, so what message would that be? All we want is to share a peaceful valley to raise little bears in and have enough to eat to survive. But it's hard times out there, what with climate change and all that. Our natural food supplies are running out and free human trash food can be hard to resist for some of us. That's right. I mean, what would you humans do if you haven't been able to eat for a few days and your neighbors left a half-eaten rotisserie chicken in a giant plastic cup with an easy-to-open lid? You'd eat the shit out of that, wouldn't you? Okay, well, technically, I'm not actually sure that I would, but fortunately, I've never been that hungry. Now, can I ask you a question? Um, sure. That's why we're here. Okay, so you're both black bears, right? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> why do humans have to make everything about color? We're all semi-pinkish under the fur. <laughs> That's what she bear said. Not now, not now. We're mature, not trash-eating bears, remember? We don't need to give them another reason to kill us, do we? No, no. I suppose you're right. <laughs> I just can't help myself sometimes. <laughs> yes, Todd, uh, we're both black bears, the type native to Colorado. Would you rather us be brown grizzlies? Or better yet, white polar bears? Now those bears can really fuck some shit up. You want that? <laughs> 
using grasshoppers, guys. <laughs> I, I just meant to clarify which type of species you are. That's it! <laughs> no more of this oh, snowflake God. nonsense. <laughs> we are being invaded by these, these murdering black bears. We need to take our valley back from these, these trash raping black bears. Trumpfish, is that you? <laughs> we have not seen you for a few seasons. <laughs> yes, it is I. I am back once again to save all my fellow non-black bears from the black bear evil that they bring. <sighs> I need to, I am the only one that can save you from this scourge and their heritage taking away. <laughs> What we need to do, and what we need to do right now, is build a bear wall. That's the only way to stop all this. Can you hear me? Build a bear wall. Build a bear wall. Build a bear wall. Uh, I'm sorry, what the hell is going on here? What is this fish trying to do? Um, I'm not entirely sure, but it seems like it's trying to seize on the fear of black bears to incite violence and mobilize a small minority of people to rally for an expensive and pointless wall. <laughs> and by its hands. Does that work? In some parts of America, yes. Your asses would be in lockdown or dead. So, we're really usually pretty tolerant here in Steamboat. You just need to let the fish do its thing, and then it'll probably go away on its own. Like a canker sword. <laughs> Build a bear wall! Build a bear wall! Who's with me? You know, I'm sorry about that. Do you guys have any closing comments? <clears throat> yes, yes we do. Okay. Just remember to lock up your trash, your cars, and your homes. And we'll continue to mind our own business and try not to get killed. <laughs> oh, wait, there is one more thing. Ah!